Squad you want. <laughs> join you think i have the right to stop you from taking a free stool no right but you might not want company while you drink and why might you want to drink with me always better to talk business over a tankard let me buy around all the same to me getting sad drunk mm -hmm. my son's decided to kill himself He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Lieutenant Avid? Who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing is happening, and hence they don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the Butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out. He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pop's got honor. But what gives honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son, and there won't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen. Near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Why did they turn out like his mother? Must my devilish blood put me through his veins? Are you Sven? Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Piss off! I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. I spoke to your father. Ha! I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven, who needs to be rescued. I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send them out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirn? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latand and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a twelve-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? Don't ask me to explain myself. Now wave that sword around some more. We both need you to practice. Hello! What? Surprised to see a dwarf on human leash? Got a well thought out slur ready and waiting. Go on, surprise me. You're a little tense. Tense? <laughs> That's a good one. I, odd looking human, am a prime mercenary, a sapper. I'm not tense by definition. A sapper? Not that kind of sapper. I build field fortifications and war machines. I can fucking throw a boat bridge across a river in half a day. Digging ditches is relaxing, that's what I meant. Hmm. Got any spare parts from those war machines? The decommissioned ones, of course. I need some to make monster traps. Sure. Why wouldn't I? If I do. See you. Oh, you? I'm looking for Letan Davit. The Butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? 
I'm looking for the coward. Heard he picks fights with youngsters who have yet to start shaving. What did you say? He's a coward and a poser. You know him? I am him! And consider yourself dead, Wanderer! We'll meet in the arena. Yes, in the arena! Hey, Lysen! You'll be my second! We shall duel in pairs. See you. Ah! But what if she's truly an annoying bear? Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of it. And? Has he agreed? Yes. Some whoresome, eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh-huh. Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honorable Edwin the Petal Lysum. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher! May the gods favor the better men! Begin! Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now! The king himself will do the honours. You were born in a pigsty where the labour came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than a noble's. You demanded payment for helping me? Everything has its price. What is it you wish? Information on those who carry square coins. Father! Silence! Why do you need to know? I can't say. And neither can you, Father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for bristling brandy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Deathmole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. <laughs> 